Hi folks, welcome to my second film of today. We're back on track, we're on a psychological week and the film I'm going to speak about is one of my top 100 films of all time and it's like the, it's the classic psychological thriller in my opinion uh, and it is the 1991 film The Silence of the Lambs. It was directed by Jonathan Demme and it won loads of Oscars, you know, I think he won an Oscar, it won Best Film, it won a uh, Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins, the two leads in it, they both won Oscars. Star Scott Glenn and the uh, absolutely magnetic uh, Ted Levine as Buffalo Bill. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen this, but I'll just give you a brief synopsis of uh, the actual storyline. No, uh, Jodie Foster plays Agent Starling, who is a student FBI agent. Uh, she's no, she's not a full FBI agent, but she's been, she's recruited by Scott Glenn, her superior, to get information from a uh, Dr. Hannibal Lecter, who is incarcerated, to build a psychological profile on the serial killer Buffalo Bill. They've got they, they're at their wits' end, and they have to go and see her, uh, Dr. Lecter in his prison to try and uh, create a, a profile of the guy and to try and catch him. And uh, so Jodie Foster's brought in, you know, to uh, to to sort of uh, uh, interact with Hannibal Lecter and that. And this is where the film sort of uh, gets most of its dra drama from. Uh, there's two sort of storylines going on. There's the Buffalo Bill storyline. No, we're following him, but we're also following Starlin's story. You know about how uh, she she copes with uh, the superior intellect of Doctor Hannibal Lecter, and can she get the information in that uh, from from him, etc. Without giving too much away, because uh, anybody that sort of interacts with Hannibal Lecter, they end up babbling fools. You know, uh, sorry, <laughs> dribbling idiots. Um, so uh, that's the sort of brief story like you know it's a cat and mouse uh, thriller you know you don't know who's telling the truth who's lying or what's going to happen next uh, is she on the right track and uh, various uh, other stuff but what uh, what is fantastic about this film is uh, if you've got the dvd listen to the the director's commentary because it's absolutely fantastic tells you all about uh, uh, the this the imagery, uh, the designs and everything, how they they created this, the design and the look of the film, so that it wouldn't age. There's you know, there's certain films that uh, when you see now, especially I would say things like a uh, Manhunter, who you where you know that it's made in the eighties, whereas they made all the costumes, the colours, uh, and everything, and the, even right down to the music, uh, so that it would be timeless. You now you can watch this film any in any decade, and it will still be relevant and whatever. Uh, Jodie Foster, absolute fantastic uh, actress. No, I've always liked Jodie Foster, but uh, she, her, her and uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins, no, they just they play off each other. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, as absolute mesmeric as a, uh, as Doctor Hannibal Lecter. And he's he's not even on screen that many uh, for that many minutes. No, he's only on screen for something like twenty minutes of the actual whole film. But his a uh, his sort of the overall presence of him is always in the background of every scene and whatever. Uh, as is a uh, Ted Levine's character, Buffalo Bill. No, he's he just absolutely a lunatic in this, and uh, I'm sure for years and years he was getting typecast in these sort of roles, uh, just uh, because he played the character that well. Uh, Howard Shore done the music, the, the Lord of the Rings uh, composer, a uh, fantastic uh, uh, music that he uh, did for this. And I just I just like the overall feel of it. No, it's got an anatomy sort of feel to it, and uh, it's got a, f a sense of foreboding all the way through the film and whatever. But really, really, I just I, I could watch this film any time at all, uh, and just uh, really enjoy it. So uh, this is my sort of ultimate psychological thriller. Uh, thanks for watching, and please look out for the other guys' reviews during the week. And a big th uh, hello to Ian. Uh, sorry I haven't. Uh, Say, say hello sooner, but I've just been really, really busy the last uh, couple of weeks, so uh, look forward to seeing uh, your review this week. Uh, loved the, uh, the Dracula review, so uh, welcome to the channel, mate. Bye for now.